What is up, guys? It's another episode of Cooking with Lamia. Tonight, I'm gonna make some uh, beef chuck boneless top blade steaks. There's four of them. I thought there were three. I'm gonna make all of them. Fuck it. I'm hungry. So, I got garlic, garlic powder, onion powder. It says parsley. It says parsley, but it's not. It's paprika. And the butter. Now, you're gonna do the same thing you did that I did the night before with the, uh, the lamb, uh, sh steaks. And, um, again, it's the same process. I'll show you real quick, uh, how to do everything. So, more or less, kind of gonna take my steaks, gonna take my butter I got over here, plop the butter off. You can grab a spoon, a knife, or whatever you want to do. Make sure you get a decent amount of butter in the pan. I'll show you in a minute. There you go. I'll do one more for good measure. There we go. So now, I got that out of the way. There you go. Alright, so I got my butter going. I don't know why I just threw the spoon in the sink because I'm going to need it, but whatever. So, do that, take the butter, make sure the whole pan, the whole pan's covered, lathered up in butter, like you're going to lather your face if it's shaving cream and you're about to shave your face. If you're a girl, I guess, uh, if you would lather your legs and shave your legs, or whatever, uh, you shave. Anyway, there's the butter, so we got that out of the way, don't need the spoon no more, toss that shit in the sink. Um, alright, so just bear with me, I'll throw my steaks on, there you go, you can see uh, how I do these, these uh, four steaks over here, so do that, open them up, this is a decent size, throw one on, throw one, two, three, and the fourth one, which is a little shit piece. But I will still do the trick. I'm still hungry and I'm definitely going to eat all of them. So, there you go. You got the four steaks. Lather it up in the garlic powder. I'm going to lather it up with a little bit of onion powder. There we go. Some good old paprika. Put a decent amount. There we go. Tap it up. Uh, I'll put this over there real quick so you can see what I'm doing. I don't know if you can see that real good. I think you can. Ah, whatever. You can see. There we go. Right. Push that on. Na -na 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 -na. You got your garlic powder. And that's it. That's all you need. Again, you could add whatever spice if you want to your steak. I'll uh, I'll even throw in something a little extra special for you guys, which I like to do. And again, you know, you, again, you guys can add whatever you guys want to add in. And see that, that that nice that nice little sizzle you got going on over there. So got that going. I'm gonna add in some Frank's Red Hot. So this is something really cool you could do. Right? If people think that it's a lot of butter, when in reality, and I say this all the time, whether people want to believe me or not, the butter that you add into the pan is very essential. Why is it essential? Because it's basically the cream of this whole process. And it also adds for flavor. And you want you don't want your you don't want your steaks coming out tasting like shit. So you're gonna add add that hot sauce like I did. Now you got a nice well cooked steak. Or four if you like me and you're a fat ass. And see? Look at that. Now you got the hot sauce. That's your juice right there. So when you're done with the steak. 
And you do not, I repeat, you do not throw this butter that you see right here. You don't throw that away. Just lather it right up on top of your steak and you're good to go. Or if you have a, uh, a weak stomach, your stomach's not that great, you don't have to do that. But look at that, look at that sizzle. And that's all you need. You don't need oil, you don't need to go crazy. You don't need to, you don't need to make a mess of your kitchen. That's all you gotta do. And you have your four chuck steaks. And again, you could do this with any size steak. Obviously, it's gonna take longer depending on the size and the cut of the steak, but it's the same process. You could do this with chicken, beef, lamb, pork, doesn't matter. Same process applies each and every single time. Now again, you could use oil, but why use oil when you have butter? It's an easier and much simpler process. And you don't have to worry about putting anything, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about trying to find something to put the oil in when it's all said and done with, right? Right. Again, this is another episode of Cooking with Lamia. For all of my followers, share this with your parents, share it with your friends, your brothers, your sisters, your grandparents. I don't care. Comment, like, subscribe. Let me help you as always. And remember, stay hungry.